welcome back now for Mr. Carl Wilson. Carl, thank you very much for the time. Thank you, Carl. Our pleasure. I was sitting here this afternoon reading about you and thinking about all the work that you have done uh, with the group, the Beach Boys, and wondering to myself, as you may have done, what happened to the last 20 years? Do you ever wonder where they've gone? Oh, my God. Well, we've done many, many things, of course. And uh, we had an opportunity to develop a talent and make lots of good records. And um, I feel very blessed. Mm -hmm. Why did you decide to break out on your own? What were the frustrations that you might have had working with the others yeah. that made you say, I want to make my own mark or put my own signature on my work? The album came up last summer. I was talking with my manager, Jerry Schilling. And he just put it to me in a way. I, I kid with him that he tricked me into doing it psychologically. Kind of put it to me in a way where uh, I really decided right on the moment that I wanted to go for it and you know go ahead and make a rock and roll record and I'd said at the time anyway that I wanted to I felt like writing I felt like you know I feel like I want to make some music because the Beach Boys have mostly just done concerts for the last few years we had a record out last year keeping the summer alive and which was sort of a move in in a in the direction and I just wanted to get some rock and roll off my chest. Well, like, did you go to the other people with the Beach Boys and say, hey, listen, is it okay if I go and do this? I mean, or do you check with them first, or do you just go out and do it by yourself with no consultation? Well, they decided to, you know, we decided as a group to not record before the end of the year. And so uh, I said, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I'm I mean, there's no trouble record. in the Beach Boys. You're not in trouble with those guys. Or no, they don't, I'm not They don't come to your concerts and throw rocks at you or things like that. It's oh, all, God, you, you no. Know. No, of course not. No, I'm sure they'll be at the show in L.A. When you go, when you go out, for example, to Cincinnati or Cleveland or uh -huh. Chicago or Miami, do the girls boo you there? And the reason I ask this <laughs> is you're always singing about California yeah. girls and how wonderful they are and how terrific they are. And the thought occurs to me that you're giving the rest of the girls in this country a damned inferiority complex. No, that's, see, Tom, the thing is, wish they all could be California girls. No, N-O, wrong. <laughs> in California, they smile at you. In New York, they reach out and grab you, you know? So I don't want them all yeah, to be California girls, yeah, that all was right? the idea, though. That's... <laughs> I beg your pardon? That was the idea. Wish they all could be California girls. The girls from New York, the girls from everywhere. Well, then they would just smile at you. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> you, you appeared in Washington last year at a concert with the Beach Boys on right. July the 4th, Independence Day, in which there were 400,000 people. What is it like performing in front of 400,000 people? It's wild. It was really a wild feeling. I mean, it was, uh, there were just lots of people. You can't really tell the difference, I don't think, between 100,000 and 400,000. No, but you sure looks... can between two yeah. and... <laughs> oh, yeah, you sure can, <laughs> you know. yeah. Well, it's just a real hot day, and uh, we, you know, we flew up for that. But are you more children. nervous, or do you need yeah, I was, a little I bit? Yeah, I was to... kind of a nervous wreck that day. I was, uh, you know, just real excited about it, because it was a live uh, simulcast on radio, went to, to many cities in the country, and... Um, it was, it, we also made a TV special out of it that's playing on HBO around the mm -hmm. country. That's correct. As yeah. a matter of fact, I think uh -huh. it played here in New York over the past weekend. In the 20 years that have gone by, what kinds of changes have you seen in your business? What's different? Oh, well, the business is a lot more sophisticated now. When we got into it, it was just a baby, and uh, it's much more of a business now. It's a lot more, uh, much bigger. And... It's not quite as innocent. You know, we didn't know what we were getting into when we first started doing this. You know, we said, well, let's make a record about going to the beach, you know. And uh, that's about all we knew at that time. Kind of surprising that it lasted for 20 years when you stop and think about it, how some people slave over a great idea. And the six or eight of you at the time and the whole organization said, well, we'll just make a little record about going down and doing some surfing. Right. And I guess you sold two million or three million the first time out of the box. Uh, I don't think it's not that important that, 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 that you know the exact number, but yeah. I was just taking a shot at it there. Mm -hmm. Considering the, uh, the 20 years that have gone by and the longevity of your music, individually and with the group, can you explain why you were not mowed down, as it were, by the Beatles invasion in the mid-60s? You know, a lot of people really got put, to, you know, put back a little bit when the Beatles exploded in the mid-1960s in this right. country, uh -huh. and they never fully recovered from it, yet your group did. Right. Have you, do, you, do you ever think about why, or do you know why? Well... Okay, just before the Beatles happened here in this country, we were the biggest group at that time. And I think that we were probably well enough established and, you know, well-loved enough to, to withstand that. And our records were really very good. 
We're very talented, and we know how to do what we do. I like the way you say that. We're very talented, we're very good, and we well, know Well, we, you know, we had a little bit of time to develop this talent. Mm -hmm. All right. Carl will be back with another song for us, an original composition. Uh, is that right? You wrote all the songs yeah, yourself, uh -huh. didn't you? Okay, That's so right. he'll be back with that a little bit later on in our show. And we will continue from New York with Bernadette Devlin right after this for our sponsors and for the NBC television station. Carl, it's good to have you with us Mr. Carl Wilson, who opened our show, is back now with a second number. This is a lovely song from a solo album. It's called Heaven. Please welcome back Mr. Carl Wilson and company.